Today I'll be going over how to adjust the pressure switch on a flow hydraulic lift. This will be a 21 series or a D series beginning with a serial number 9700 or a hydraulic lift that's been retrofitted with a new type of valve manifold. To verify pressure switch settings, operate the lift by pushing the send to 2 button. Record the pressure switch settings when the lift shuts off. Compare the recorded pressure switch settings with the data tag on the tank. If the lift shuts off 50 psi below or above the indicated pressure switch settings, adjustments are required. To adjust the pressure switch, we're going to remove the DIN connector with a Phillips head screwdriver. Next, we're going to move the brass insert with a flat head screwdriver. Use a needle nose pliers to pull the insert out. To change your pressure switch settings, we'll insert an eighth inch Allen. And to increase the pressure, we'll turn clockwise. To decrease the pressure, we're going to go counterclockwise. Make all adjustments a quarter turn at a time. Between adjustments, simply plug the pressure switch back onto the DIN connector. Run the lift up to the second level. Check your pressure switch settings. When you're done, unplug it and readjust your settings with an Allen. After adjustments are made, reconnect the DIN connector. To do that, insert our brass insert. Tighten it back down with our flathead screwdriver. Just snug. Simply put the gasket on. Tighten down with a Phillips head screw. Just snug it down. Once all connections are made, cycle the lift several times to double check the pressure switch settings. If they're good, you're good to go.